a God is a God of compassion and love. He has left everything, left everything and came down for you to be strong, for you to be obedient, for you to have the connection strongly. And that he knows when you are weak. He knows exactly when you are going to fall. But then if you stay in the connection, and also in the same time you have the free will, free will to go away from the Lord or stick to the Lord. Then in, in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 30, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, it is said, those who, those who rely on the Lord will fly like eagles. Even the youth will fall when they walk. They will be tired and fatigued. But those who rely on the Lord will be never tired. So that, that is the main focus. So in the first reading, we, some, we find something contrary to the, the compassion of the Lord. Where we find southern kingdom and northern kingdom are separated. And uh, so the southern kingdom, which is Judea, where the kingdom of Jerusalem, where the city of Jerusalem and temple was there. And all the other ten tribes were separated as northern kingdom. And uh, what happened? So King Jeroboam said in his heart, now the kingdom will turn back to the house of David. So God promised the prophet saying, the city of Jerusalem, which is a southern, in southern, king, southern kingdom, Judea, those two tribes would be there because, because of King David, because of his obedience, fidelity. And now the one who is in northern kingdom, Jeroboam said to Inesar, now the kingdom will turn back to the house of David. If these people go up to offer sacrifices in the temple of the Lord at Jerusalem, then the, then the heart of these people will turn again to their Lord, to then the heart to Rehoboam, king of Judah, and they will kill me. So it's so the problem was. If the people start going to Jerusalem, so if their focus is right, the enemy would be destroyed. So enemy's target, enemy's focus is to break your focus. So if they go to Jerusalem, so there, there their minds will change. See the plan of Jeroboam. So the king took counsel and made two calves of gold, calves of gold, and he said to the people, you have gone up to Jerusalem long enough. Behold your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And he said one, Bethel, and on the other he put in Dan. Then this thing became a sin. For the people went as far as then to be before one, and also made temples on high places and appointed priests from among all the people who were not of the Levites. Jer Jeroboam appointed a feast on the 15th day of the 18th month, like the feast that was in Judea. And he offered sacrifices in the altar. It's all, it's all idolatry. So it's, my dear friends, it's terrible if your heart is divided. It's terrible when if, you're, if you have another God. You have been deceived by the evil one. So they have the ulterior motives. They will lose, evil one will lose the strength, lose the hold in your life. That's exactly what he's doing. So it's gold calf, like exactly when, when Aaron and the people, when Moses went to Sinai, in Mount Sinai, and he was praying, and they made a, a gold calf. Very eye-catching. And they are completely, completely destroyed. And this thing became sent to house of Jeroboam, so as to cut off, cut it off, 
and destroy it from the face of the earth. So that's the end of it, my dear friends. So in contrary, we find the gospel. And people were there with the Lord for three days. In those days when again great crowd had gathered and they had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days. So when you are connected to the Lord, when you are connected, it's not Mount, Jerry, Mount Sinai, but then this is Mount where Jesus was there. And people were there around him. When you are close to the Lord, when you are connected to the Lord, the way he is going to look after you. It's amazing. It's amazing. My dear friends, and then he said, because they have been with them, and if I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way. How, how attention, how much there was attention to the details, isn't it? Our God is a God of compassion and love and so much of caring. He exactly knows their strength. If they go away, they will fall, faint and fall. So he knows exactly your capacity. He knows exactly where you are heading and leading. He knows you more than you know yourself. It's amazing, isn't it? And we have a God who cares for us, who just not even wink. No. Full focus, he will look after us as the apple of his eye. That's the compassion of the Lord. And then, some of them have come from far away and his disciples answered him, how can one feed these people with bread here in the desolate place? Humanly speaking, it is impossible. Humanly speaking, it is impossible. My dear friends, then our God is a God who mingles with us, who exactly values all what we have. He will make our lives a part of the miracle. That's exactly why he could have made bread out of nothing, out of nothingness. So he's, he created the world out of nothing. But then here it's different. He asked them, how many loaves do you have? How many loaves do you have? I'm going to use you now to feed my people. What, whatever you have. So whatever we have is important, isn't it? I am important. I'm important not as long as I have for myself. I have myself for myself. No. I'm important the moment I give my life to the hand of the Lord. Surrender my life completely. That's exactly how he's going to deal, my dear friends. He's going to deal with your life. And then what happened? Seven, they said, and directed the crowd to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples and set before the people. And they set before them, set them before the crowd. And they had few small fish having blessed them. And he said that these also should be set before them. And they ate and were satisfied. And that's how the Lord is going to work in your life. Only he can satisfy you, complete you. He will use you your inability, your insufficient, insufficiency, your brokenness, whatever you have, and make it a problem, make it a miracle. So as Jeroboam wanted them to go away, so what is glittering, what is shining, what is eye-catching can distract you from the Lord. So go to the Lord despite come what may, just go to him and stay with him until you get the strength from him. He's going to send, strengthen you. And he knows you exactly where you need that strength. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.